Sir Bradley Wiggins was 33 yesterday, but there was little time for celebration. The Olympic champion and Tour de France winner has his sights firmly set on adding yet another historic achievement to his already gold-plated CV. Next weekend, he takes on that other prestigious cycling race, the Giro d'Italia. Our sports correspondent, Camien Zerum, has this report. That's it. Just look casual. A bit of a smile, Brad. There we go. That's it. The truth is, Sir Bradley Wiggins hates this media lark. He once told me it's the worst part of his job. There's a simple reason for that. Performance is everything. And interviews just get in the way. Through the winter, they've trained for the first big challenge of the season. Currently, though, he's not Team Sky's chosen man to defend the Tour de France. More on that later. Sir Bradley's main target, the Tour's Italian equivalent, the Giro. It starts this weekend. The first, last and only time this gruelling Grand Tour was won by a native English speaker, Ireland's Stephen Roach in 1987. I mean, this is this is going to be tough. For you. Yeah, no, it's not easy. It's probably, as I said all along, this is a bigger challenge than the Tour de France. Um, the climbs are steeper, um, but I like that about it. That's what I've liked about working towards this is that kind of being a bit of an underdog, kind of trying to prove people wrong a little bit in that proved that the tour wasn't really a fluke. The Giro d'Italia stands atop the pinnacle of elite cycling, along with the lesser-known Vuelta in Spain and the world-famous Tour de France. The first Giro was held in 1909, and pausing only for world wars, the 96th Giro begins on Saturday. It's held over 21 stages, this year taking riders from Naples to Brescia. They'll cover nearly 3,500 kilometres, with just two days off to rest which Wiggins may well need because despite his newfound stardom, he'll have just a month to recover before the tour, when Team Sky will almost certainly replace him as team leader because his colleague and rival Chris Froome is on a roll too, recently winning the prestigious Tour de Romandie. There's clearly a great rivalry, mm. healthy or otherwise, for you to describe yeah. with, with you and Froomey. How, how is the team managing that? They got the psychologists in to help you figure no, out? No, I don't think it's as complicated as that. I think we both accept that we both want to win and um, someone's going to get the nod. And I think we're both professional enough to say, you know, it's about the team winning and if that's the case, then that's the case. And targeting the Giro instead, Wiggins insists, really was his decision. It wasn't sort of just on a wing and a prayer this, you know, I had to convinced Dave and his team that you know I really wanted to do this and I'd... it came from you then well yeah that I think that this season always had to come about from me after such a year last year I think it was important that I was gonna some I had to do something that was gonna motivate me to go out and do the work again really how to motivate Sir Bradley Wiggins what else is there left for him to win